Hey there, fellow tech enthusiasts. Welcome back to Tech Talkies. Today, we are taking a closer look at the Arduino Motor Shield. First off, a shield is something that goes directly onto a microcontroller and thus eliminating the need for extra wiring and hassle. So the Arduino Motor Shield is exactly that for the Uno. It goes directly on an Uno like this, but why do we need it? We need it because motors require a lot of power and the Arduino pins are not rated for that. This shield here is a copy, but its functionality remains the same. Being a really old version in 2024, it is still the most widely available one. So we'll be using this one. Let's break it down. It is equipped with a 74HC595 shift register, thus allowing us to use many motors with just a few pins on our Uno. It has two L293D, which is a dual channel H-bridge motor driver that can control two DC motors or a single stepper motor. Because the shield includes two such motor drivers, it can control up to four DC motors or two stepper motors. The shift register is needed to extend the Arduino's four digital pins to the eight direction control pins of these two chips. The shield includes a pull down resistor array to keep the motors off during power up. The onboard LED indicates that the motor power supply is working properly. The motors will not run if it is not lit. The reset button is nothing but Arduino's reset button. It has been brought to the top for easy access. Six analog pins, a zero to A5, as well as five V and ground connections are provided in the bottom right corner. You can populate these with headers like I have, making them useful for connecting various sensors. These terminals are for DC motors, so you can connect four DC motors at a time. They also double as stepper motor connections, so you can connect two stepper motors. The shield brings out the 16-bit PWM output lines to two three-pin headers, which you can use to connect two servo motors. This jumper here will bridge the power sources of the shield and the Arduino. So this needs to be placed only if powering both the boards with one source. We will be powering the Arduino with USB, so we are removing that jumper. This is very important, otherwise you might burn your Arduino. Now, I have written a project that tests all the motors at once. Let's upload that code to the Arduino and connect the motors one by one. This is the code. You can download it from techtalkies.in. The link is in the description. You will need to install the Adafruit MotorShield library version one first, then upload. Connect the shield to the Arduino. Connect the Arduino to a five volt power. Then add an external power source. I'm using a nine volt power adapter. Now let's add a simple DC motor to M1 terminals. Now let's turn both the power supply on. The motor will spin, regularly changing its direction. Now let's add a stepper motor. This is a stepper motor I got from an old CD drive. It runs on four connections and turn everything on. The stepper motor should also start working now, going left to right. Now let's add a servo motor. Turn off the power and plug it into the servo motor slot. Power on and it should start working. There you go, all the motors working in unison. Let me know how you will be using this amazing shield. Or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. As usual, like and subscribe for more of our content.